welcome back to On the Warpath. It's Sanchez 405. If you're new, make sure you click that subscribe button. Hit the bell so you get notifications anytime there's new content posted. And as always, like, comment, share this video out because you know what we do here. We're talking Washington football team news all the time. And on Monday, the Burgundy and Gold made two transactions. One, releasing wide receiver Steven Sims Jr. And then they activated after three weeks of being on the COVID list, offensive tackle David Sharp. Now let's get ready. We'll, we're just going to dive right into this. Uh, Steve Sims Jr. is the headliner of all this. Uh, number 15, the dude was undrafted free agent in 2019. Speed. We saw what he did in the preseason that year. We saw uh, flashes towards the end of the 2019 season. He had four touchdowns in the last three games. He had two in that last home game against the Giants. He had 64 yards receiving. Also had a kickoff return for a touchdown in the victory against the Detroit Lions that year. So you look at this, and this guy had a lot of potential. He, We thought he was going to be that quartet that would lead us to victory uh, amongst Dwayne Haskins, Terry McLaurin, uh, Ke uh, Kelvin Harmon, and himself. But guess what happened? Uh, none of these guys, besides Terry McLaurin, rightfully so, is still on the roster. Uh, we're going to have to talk about that top 100. We might have to do a little rant video after that, but that's not important. We're, this is about number 15. Uh, he did miss about four or five games last season early on. Uh, he did have a touchdown against Cincinnati. And then how can we forget everybody's future all-pro, Taylor Heineke, threw a beautiful pass, and it was a beautiful catch as well to Steve Sims Jr., and you know, he was like, whoa, whoa, don't sleep on him just yet there. But we knew this was coming. The guy, he he uh, was getting overshadowed. Uh, of course, we saw that one play, pass play where it looked like it could have been pass interference that he should have made on that go route and um, against Cincinnati. So that, that was a mark in the coffin. Jarrett Patterson doing good on kickoff returns uh, on Saturday or Friday night against the Bengals and also – we see DeAndre Carter as well, who's fighting for that kickoff return specialist spot as well. So, you know, it, it was, the writing was on the wall there. You've got the emergence of Patterson. You've got DeAndre Carter here, who is shows that he streamlined. And let's be honest with you, Steve Sims, in a way, kind of, <laughs> when you think about it, reminds you of Antoine Randall. They would dance when they return punts. They'd go east and west. They'd never go north. So that that's a problem you have right there with him. Um, you know, we thought the guy was going to uh, be something there. Uh, a lot of us were hoping that he could have uh, showed out, you know, but that just didn't happen there. Uh, he had multiple quarterbacks that um, just – just he never could get right. So hopefully he latches on with the team. Wish him all the best there. And then David Sharp, y'all. Another guy who's probably not going to make this team. Uh, the guy is, uh, through, I think on August 3rd, he was put on the COVID list. He's just getting activated off of it today. So that does not bode well. He's missed a lot of time. And, you know, only time to, this is a guy we gave up a late, uh, I think a day three pick for. It, with the Raiders, I almost said uh, Oakland Raiders, but we know it's the Las Vegas Raiders. Shout out to Toothpick because we know that's his second home there. So, it, you know, it, I don't think this guy's going to We saw him in that victory against Dallas last year down there. Uh, we also saw where he did struggle uh, replacing Morgan Moses also. And they had to kick him out against Seattle. And then it, it was just a, a struggle from there as well, too. So I don't really think David Sharp is going to make this roster either. Uh, but, you know, Steve Sims, going back to him, you know, hopefully. I, I've said this before about speed, y'all. Speed is nothing without skill. You can't have just your own. You can't just be fast. You got to do something else. And that's something Steve Sims could not do. He couldn't do what was his something else. He had flashes. We thought he was going to do it. Like I alluded to earlier, those three touchdowns, uh, excuse me, four touchdowns in the last three games against NFC East opponents in 2019 just couldn't cut the mold, couldn't cut the mustard there. And that sucks, but it is what it is. That's what it's a cutthroat business. And, you know, hopefully, like I said, he lands with somebody else, y'all. But uh, we'll talk about this a little bit more 
Also, uh, we'll have Josh Taylor on here on Wednesday night. We'll preview the Baltimore game. And don't forget as well, if you check me out on Twitter at Sanchez405, we are doing thanks to Door Gunner. We have two tickets that we're raffling off. Uh, so they're going to be raffling a pair, $10 a piece to, um, to go to the game. And uh, the, the proceeds will go to the Hawk Farmers Charity. So y'all make sure y'all hit me up on Twitter. And uh, it will probably do it where you pay it through the cash app and everything. And everything will go whatever we get. And we'll announce it from the raffle on Thursday how much is going to the Hawk Farmers Charity. And we've had Hawk Farmer Chris on here before. So make sure you guys check that out. Uh, they're helping out kids with pediatric cancer and their families. So going to a good cause there. So I appreciate it. If you all would uh, take time, look at it. If you're interested in going to the game, so you got a chance uh, to pay $10 to go to uh, see Washington and Baltimore in the final preseason game. It'll be the last football we see for about, I think, a week and a half because they're going to have a makeshift bye week there before the beginning of the season. So it's going to be interesting to see there. But, y'all, that's what's coming up on the channel. As always, I appreciate everything you're doing to help this channel grow. Uh, it, it is overwhelming, and I, I appreciate the love that you all are giving. As always, don't forget to slap a table, keep that same energy, and we'll outlast the bastards together. I'm Sanchez405, sweating out here in my car. But nonetheless, we got to give you, I feel like Michael Irvin a little bit too. Oh, we got to give you, we got to give you the news there. But either way, love, peace, and hell. Until next time, I'm out.